Hello students! Welcome to our science class. And for today's lesson, we will be discussing the module 7 of our quarter 2, which is all about the ecological relationships. For today's objective, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to first describe the different ecological relationships found in an ecosystem, second, explain why interactions is necessary for the survival of organisms, and lastly, third, appreciate how God designs each organism for adaptation and survival. Ecological communities consist of interacting or potentially interacting species in the same environment. This is what we call ecological relationships. Ecological relationships describe the interactions between and among biotic components or the organisms within their environment. There are com five commonly seen ecological relationships in the ecosystem. First, we have predation. Next, we also have competition. We also have mutualism. The fourth one is what we call the commensalism. And lastly, we have the parasitism. Okay, first we have predation. Predation is a biological interaction where one organism, the predator, kills and eats another organism, which is its prey. The sign that we are going to use here is positive and negative, since one of them benefits from one the other, and the other another organism um, is being killed okay, in this relationship. Here, in this example, we can see a seal being hunted by the fox. The fox here is a predator and the seal is a prey. In predation, only one benefits. The predator who is the one that is larger and or stronger survives while the weaker prey will be harmed and might die. Example of this relationship are also wolf and deer, uh, lions and zebras, snakes and rats, and of course, eagles and doves. Here, in the second interaction, this is what we call competition. So in this relationship, two organisms compete for the same limited resources, like food, shelter, water, or any biotic or abiotic factor. Since both of them are being hard because of survival, the sign that we're going to use here is both negative. The one who wins will get the resources to survive. Usually, both organisms that compete have equal strength and the interaction is detrimental or harmful to both of that organisms. The third type of ecological relationship is what we call mutualism. Mutualism is a biological interaction where both organisms benefit from one another. Since both of them benefit from one another, the sign we're going to use here is both positive. Examples of this are butterfly and flowering plants wherein the butterflies and other insects help the flower of the plants to pollinate and reproduce, while the butterfly gets its food from the flower. Another example of mutualism is the clownfish and the sea anemone. The clownfish hides and makes the sea anemone as its shelter, while the sea anemone gets its food from the waste excreted by the clownfish. And the clownfish also helps the sea anemone to protect them from other fishes who might destroy them. Another example is the zebra and the oxpecker bird. The oxpecker bird helps the zebra to be more comfortable by eating the ticks attached to their body that the zebra cannot reach, which in return the food of these birds. The fourth one is what we call the commensalism. 
it is a relationship between organisms in which one organism benefits from the other and the other organism is neither helped or harmed. Since one, only one organism from this relationship is being benefited, the sign of this relationship that we're going to use is positive and zero. In this picture, the one who benefits in the relationship is the orchid, since it absorbs nutrients and get a perfect shelter for them to be lightened up by the sunlight that they need for the food making process. But the coconut tree where this orchid was attached did not receive any benefits nor harm from the orchid. In this relationship, the one benefits is what we call the commensal and the other organism in the relationship is the unaffected host. The commensal organism benefits from the other organism, while the host is neither unaffected or harmed. Other examples of this are owl and tree, and barnacles and whale. Additional information, barnacles are shellfish related to crabs and lobsters that were attached to the whales but the whales was not affected by the attachment of these barnacles. The last type of ecological relationship is the parasitism. It is a relationship between organisms in which one organism, the parasite, benefits while the other organism, the host, is harmed but not directly killed. In this example, we have a picture here of a dog that has a tick attached into his skin. The tick is the parasite and the dog is the host. The parasite benefits from the other organism by getting its nutrients to the host. In contrast to predation, parasites harm their host but not directly kill them, but predators in predation immediately kills their prey. Parasites were generally smaller than the host as compared to predators to their prey. Other examples of this kind of relationship are hair lice and human, wasps and bats. For our summary, ecological relationships describe the interaction between and among organisms within their environment. Mutualism is an interaction when two organisms benefit from each other. Commensalism, on the other hand, benefits only in one organism, while the other was left unharmed nor unbenefited. Predation is the interaction when the predator kills its prey for food, while parasitism is the interaction of smaller organism harming the larger organism just to get a nutrient from it. And lastly, we have the competition, which is when two organisms were fighting just to get the biotic and abiotic factors that they need for survival. Okay. That's the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for listening.